As the clock ticks down towards the NFL trading deadline on Tuesday, the Giants' most marketable asset continues to be tight end Evan Ingram. And what I've been told from league sources is that there is a market for Ingram if the Giants decide they want to trade him. The only question is how much other teams would be willing to give in return for the Giants' tight end because I'm told also that the Giants are not just going to give him away even though his contract expires at the end of the season and even though his future in New York is uncertain at best. The Giants aren't just going to give him away for a seventh-round pick, a sixth-round pick. They're going to want something better than that in return. The good news for them is there are several teams around the league who are looking for a tight end. The Buffalo Bills have been looking for a while. They have their starting tight end, Dawson Knox, out with a fractured hand. The Green Bay Packers lost their starting tight end on Thursday night. The New Orleans Saints don't have any reliable offensive weapons other than Alvin Kamara. So someone with Engram's ability, his his speed, his size, he can create a mismatch, he can stretch the field. Yes, he hasn't been the most reliable tight end, but certainly compared to a lot of other receiving tight ends, he's put up decent numbers over the years. So if you get a team that's in playoff contention that thinks he could add a little bit to them, this is the time of year where they might say, you know what, it's worth it to give it a shot. Again, the only question is how much will a team be willing to pay a fifth round pick or even a fourth round pick to get a player like Ingram. If that happens, the Giants could be enticed to do it. But again, they're not just going to give him away. For them to trade Evan Ingram, the price will have to be right.